All right, let's get into it. Care package purple? Why am I got it? Okay, don't care. Isn't this already the gold weapon rotation? Anyways, end rings. End rings now have more even distribution through the map. I like this a lot. You know what this is above two chats? The northeast part of the map on storm points. This is a buff to Elrod. This is a buff to Zeus. This is a buff to Wall. This is a buff to Stormcatcher. This is a nerf to all the South POIs. There's a little bit of a, a an imbalance on. There's gonna be a little bit of an imbalance on Storm Point now. A little bit of an imbalance, as if there wasn't before with all the fucking terrain. So, yeah, yeah. Nerf to Mill. Nerf to Cenotes. You know what I mean? Like it's not the end of the world for these POIs. Don't get me wrong. Mill's still good. Mill is still really good. It does not make Cliffside OP, no. It just, I mean, it means, it means you're gonna get more zones near Cliffside, more zones near the PY, but it will, yeah, quite, yeah. We'll, we'll, zones could completely change, quite. like there's gonna be, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work, but yeah. Anyways, I like this. Just It just makes too much logical sense not to do this. Um, This is like, this is an incomplete map. This is not a very, very big sample size, but I saw, I saw this on Twitter somewhere. And sample size is small, but yeah. Siphon got hit really hard by uh what the whatever the fuck they did to zones. Yeah, disparity, yeah, yeah. It's decent. Not I wouldn't say Elrod. Yeah, it's decent. It's still digging. Okay, not Elrod. Not Elrod. Well, no, sorry, yeah. Elrod, yeah. You could, might be able to play Tunnel or something. Okay, literally dodge level right now, world judge. Yeah. So look at Siphon, man. Siphon used to be insane. But now there's no thermal zones when you got prior for thermal. There's no dome zones. If you look at TSM. When I when I was on TSM, some of our big big games at LAN split two playoffs. No, split one playoffs. Thermal zone, fucking dome zone, like all those were gone. Is there what the fuck happened to Geyser, bro? Fissure zones were not a thing anymore. Harvester zones, they like they were only added West Harvester. Yeah, I went play high, high thermal. Yeah. So yeah, launch site. What the fuck happened to launch site, man? So south side of the map is gonna get buffed in that sense. North side is gonna get nerfed. Overlook is gonna get hit hard. Because now Yeah, the meta in terms of like the POI draft was like north POIs especially. And but the thing people are gonna have to re remind themselves of is that Climatizer. Oh my gosh, Climatizer for a dome zone. Oh my gosh. Not a fun time. Really bad. Overlook for a dome zone, really bad. Skyhook East for dome zones, really bad. Thermal zones, same thing. Commentators is not bad for thermal zones, actually. Commentators is not bad. You come in, you try to come in from this side. Uh, for some of them, like the back ones, not bad. Still not bad, but like, you know, it's gonna, it's, it, it can be hard. It can be hard. Skyhook East is gonna have, has a hard time for thermal, for thermal zones, really hard. Um, they get kept from a lot of chokes, a lot of low ground rotations that they have to do. So. Dome zones are so bad for North teams, not necessarily. Dome zones are really good. They're actually still completely fine for uh, Skyhook West. If you just come in for the back launch side building and come in from there, just kill everyone along here. So, but you know these north northeast ones, yes. Survival slot items have now been distributed to low tier zones. Chat. Monument might be a little OP now for zone PY. Might be a little OP. Whoa! Why? Obviously, you have you're in the center of the map, but the thing with Monument compared to other zone PYs, the hard zone PYs, Harvester, Landslide, Frag. Obviously, Frag can still be but you have a lot of loot in terms of just quantity. This VOD better be up. I do not leave them up, brother. But hey, we can talk. We can talk later. So Monument is gonna be a little OP because if you didn't know, survival slot Evex. Didn't spawn and load to your loot. Everyone that I think pro players know that because pe pro players know that they literally don't find evacs in monument. The amount of loot you're getting for monument compared to landslide or harvester is gonna be is so much. You just have more meds, more meds, more gun selection. So, yeah. Now, monument for like dome zones, rough. But at the same time, because you're moving first, you know, you're hitting all the resources, map room scans, beacons, and like harvester, siphon before other teams, other zone teams, or other edge teams. So at least you have that. Monument OP, I think. We'll see what the spot rate is. I have no idea. Same thing with frag, obviously. Now you're going to get evacs from frag, but frag still doesn't have a beacon, so 
it just, it's gonna help though for sure. It's not gonna make the PY as shit as it used to be. Um, otherwise, what other low tier loot? Oh, not even just not even just World's Edge, but Storm Point too. Right? If we look at Storm Point, so Cliffside, you might get evacs from Cliffside. Now, there's not a lot of loot in Cliffside. Um, so you're probably not going to hit that number where you're going to like average an evac. Probably not. No, but cascade balls, you know, you might be able to, you might be able to find evacs now and just like looting these little side compounds. It's going to be, it's not going to be high chances because even for medium tier loot, you need to, it's a, it's a pretty low chance to find evac, pretty low odds. Um, so I don't expect it, but you know, you might get lucky, but yeah, those POIs, you know, it's going to help. Uh, tried it. You might get more evacs. Although you, you, you do sometimes get evacs actually from trying to already cause there's high tier loot here. Yeah, they also said they did redistributed the e the the evex. Yeah, so actually, yeah, some of these POIs, are, these POIs are actually gonna get less. I think maybe the high tier POIs are gonna get less evex now. Yeah, I mean you get a fuck ton of P uh, evex from high tier uh, loot POIs, a lot. Shit, sometimes from Elrod you get like four. Like, yeah. So Mel might get less. Mel, not that Mel really cares too much about it, but yeah, we'll see. Um. What else? Anyways, okay, next. G7 Scout. I'm getting to it, Nikolita. Damage increase to 32 was... 33 was 32. Okay. I mean, what is the headshot modifier? 33 times 1.65. Okay. Scout, at some point, did 34 damage. The multiplier was higher. Maybe they're gonna go put it back to this fire rate, which would be OP. A nice middle ground, I think. Yeah, we'll see. The rate of fire increase, yeah. Adjust recoil would be more consistent when firing at a max rate. This gun might be a little OP. It might just be scout meta. Depending on the rate of fire increase, this might be an AR and a marksman in one. We'll have to see those numbers. Um, Yeah. It might be just OP. It might just be scout meta. No cap. I mean, yeah, you're increasing the DPS. It's going to be easier to shoot. And this, okay, this also means... This is an underrated part of this, is compared to this in that if you're trying to like 3-2-1 someone or trying to team shoot, you know, just catch someone off guard, you're getting more shots off. So you might be able to get like 66 damage and use it as like a burst gun, the same way you would a hemlock, right? There's two shots. So it might be a burst gun, an AR, and a marksman all in one. We'll see. Havoc, all mag sizes reduced. 20. No, you know Chuck Sex is going to stick with the Sentinel. 18. 24 times 18. What is that? 432 to 360. So you're losing 60. Wait, that's actually a pretty big nerf. Although you're still overkilling anyone though. Like it's a nerf, but you're still actually overkilling people. I mean, it's going to hurt people who whiff, you know, especially. Because even if you were whiffing before with the Havoc, I mean, you still had so many bullets. You're still probably going to kill them. Yeah, I agree to a month. It's still, this gun is still going to be used, especially because um, Assault Bins, you're getting mags. No, Havoc might be OP, yeah. Also, yeah, Scout being faster, fire rate is going to make a better hip fire as well. Holy shit. I need to kill two people in one clip, yeah. But still. Like 32 times, like, let's say you have a blue mag. That's still 504 damage in a mag. Should have still OP, whatever. The other gun's going to get buffed. Okay, it doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Finding your enemies is less vertical movement while in the ADS, okay, it doesn't matter. Again, still sucks. Alter, Void Passage. Crypto MP will now affect all players fa phased by the Void Passage. Damn, they really nerfed tech. <laughs> Although, I don't even... Okay, I think the combo is cheese, but I don't even think that it was that good. Because if you just fucking spam Art Stars or Catwall in advance, then they can't ape you. Am I wrong? And it's, so it's such a specific strat that it doesn't do anything else. Bangler. Smoke launcher. All players within smoke will now have a white highlight visible to other players in smoke within 20 meters. Dev note. Fighting inside Bangalore smoke has never been a pleasant experience for players or viewers aside from Bloodhounds as it makes fights messy and hard to read. We are leveling the playing field now by making all players inside smoke clear targets to one another with a white highlight. But the smoke is white. How visible is it actually going to be? This highlight is not visible from outside the smoke. All of the rotational and side blocking gameplay are kept intact. However, while playing inside the smoke will be more clear, it will also be more risky. Resets will be much harder if the smoke is challenged. I mean, this is going to make end, end games a lot easier to like navigate. It's also a little bit of a Bloodhound nerf, but at the same time, not really because 
Bloodhound, the Bang Bloodhound combo is good when you smoked the enemy and you were not in your in the smoke itself, right? Like you're shooting from range. So we'll see. My question is, do do control players get aim assist? Do they get aim assist on outlined people in the smoke? No. How do you guys know? How do you know? What? You guys, you guys know? You guys play testing? Y'all sleeping with the devs? That's they're talking about rota rotating, like smoking for rotate. You never got yeah, even highlight them, but I'll see. Well, you get you get some AA when you're shooting in caustic ass. Who knows? Also, rules don't need to stay rules forever, right? Like they could change it if they wanted to. As for how this is gonna play out, I don't think this means that you can smoke people and just like ru like necessarily run at them. Although maybe like there, I think really good bank players might be able to like smoke and then like play the edges of their smoke, like pop in and out of it. It does defeat the purpose of smoke vision pyramid? No, because you only get highlights if you're both in the smoke. You can still use it to break silence when you're rotating. It just means that you can't smoke and like run away when you're in the middle of a fight. Like they could just chase you and still shoot you, which is good. It's gonna it's gonna nerf bang in the sense that bang bang is not gonna be as like slippery. Yeah, you also can't see out of the smoke. Yeah, I don't think this is a buff for MK bangs and after control bangs because now controller players have an easier time to shoot in a smoke. They didn't have aim assist. But they also couldn't see, right? Like, why is this a nerf to controller? It's gonna be harder to reset when you have a team knocked. It depends how far they are away, right? It's gonna be harder in the sense that um, another team can't just like bloodhound ult and fucking see you. That is bloodhound. Beast of the hunt. Threat vision is no longer visible through smoker gas. Oh, great level two. Raven's blessing. Ult charge reduced to twenty percent. Was twenty five percent. Upgrades, level 3. New Sight Hunt. Reduce tactical cooldown by 50% while ultimate is active. New Flock. Remove enemy range requirement for white raven spawns. Okay. This was because it, this perk was fucking useless once you got to like zone 2 and comp. It, it really didn't make any sense, honestly. It was kind of dumb. So I'm glad they changed it. Dev note, sometimes even the best teams break up and go their separate race. Bloodhound's, uh, Bloodhound's ult has always had a strong synergy with Bangler's smoke. But the pairing has recently become dominant in a singular answer to the can't see stuff meta. With the removal of threat vision through smoke, Bloodhound will now will need to rely on their attack scan like other recon legends. Ah! To remove the necessity for the dynamic duo to pair together and allow for new roster compositions to form in its wake. We love that. We are noticing how much the white raven passive would fall off in the late game. Okay, yeah. Like you could do this, right? You could do white ravens charge ultimate by 20% and then remove a enemy range requirement for white raven spawns. But why the fuck would you ever do that? That means that you don't have, like you, that means that you're just down scans in fights. Like you're not as effective in fights, especially if you're up against another bloodhound or even a seer. Like you have to actually get these two. So, because it actually impacts your fights. Th this and this is you worrying about the next fight you're gonna take and not about the fight you're taking in the moment so you should always get the scans the scan ones duh depending on how it works chat you can get three scans while i'm behind yeah yeah because you can scan you can you can do this bloodhound alt scan Thirty seconds. Wait. Twelve point five seconds. Scan. Wait. Twelve point five seconds. Scan. So you can get for sure three scans off, but that means that you have to scan immediately after you burn Hanolds. And then you have to scan Im pretty much immediately after they come off cooldown, which isn't always going to happen, which isn't even practical in the first place. You coaching anyone? I'm coaching SKD. No, you don't liquid because it doesn't refresh the cooldown. If you scan someone and you scan the bird, it doesn't refresh the cooldown. Fourth gold helm? Mm, no, no, you can't. Ten second each scan, but there's a there's a cast animation for each scan, and then obviously yeah, ten seconds each scan, you'd have to get it literally on the dot anyways. You wouldn't get four scans. So even with gold helm you're not getting okay so the one thing though is you might be able to get four scans here's how the it depends it depends on it depends on if you popping your ult reduces the scan cooldown which i don't know if it does but whatever if it does maybe you can get four scans in but that's the only way 
I don't know, Cast Trap. I think that's getting removed, though. I think that's... I. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Okay, wait, wait. This is actually a little crazy in the sense that you can anchor with these characters, and if you if you get an assist, you can, like, grapple in or jump in on someone that you guys, like, team shot. This is actually kind of good for, like, anchoring his, like, Path or Revenant. Like, taking an offing. Kind of crazy, at least in ranked. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, feed is elitist. Yeah, it should be, yeah. Well, for some PY, some, it's gonna be easier. I don't think it works like that. What do you mean? If you... If you queue somewhere to get an off angle, and then you get an assist on a knock, then you can queue again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. I'm saying you can catch up to a fight or close distance after you get an assist rather than just grappling in, getting a kill, and grappling out. But yeah, energized zip. Is that is it on the same thing? I think they did this because they were watching Zero. He does that all the time. He just fucking turns on the volume when he's, expect when he's like expecting their dies or whatever. So that's how else I'm doing because of Zero. Let's talk about the Bloodhound Bang, though. Those are the biggest implications here, right? Um, so here's the thing. Bloodhound now doesn't have, doesn't get the 50 HP on Nox, can't see through smokes, is usually only going to get two skins during an ult, and is not going to get the reduced uh, ultimate charges with the Ravens. This character seems fucking useless. This character, Bloodhound, seems fucking turbo fucking useless to me. What is the point of this character? Now, here's what I think, chat. I think... One second. Let me finish this. I don't think Bang Cat watching this will be good. I don't think Bang Cat's gonna be that good. Okay, Bang Cat watching in isolation might be good. But the problem is you're missing a map room scan, which is really important for zone teams to get blue sometimes. Or get closer. And also you're just you're just losing map room scan in general. Banks here watching, baby. Like God intended. Banks here watching zone teams. Pick it up. How can you die? Seer Watson's back, baby. Seer Watson is back. And now Bloodhound Bank teams can't just smoke you and fucking kill you with Bloodhound. They have to run in to your Cyril. It, unless they scan, obviously, where they have a short window to shoot you. No, the VOD's not going out. How does Seer help in defense? You have a fucking dome around your butthole. Where anyone that walks into it is on wall hacks. And you have a Q that silences and slows a little bit. Not much, but silences people and puts them on wall hacks. And, th and the other thing is Seer can hit fucking ma uh, map room scan, right? So you're getting Evo. Um, yeah. And now, this, you don't need this, I don't think, if you're playing zone, because you're just putting your ult on you anyways. I think you get this. It's tough, man, because this is good. Both of these are good. Horizon isn't automatically bad. The, the, the presence of Bloodhound is not what made Horizon go away. Horizon's not being played because... You queue up and you get fucking beamed out of your queue. You used to be able to use queue to dodge bang ults your entire team and people wouldn't die out of it. But now you get beamed out of your queue trying to dodge bang ults. And so you can't just queue up in front of people anymore. Pro players, you get absolutely obliterated. Has, why would Horizon be any better now than she was? Sure, there's an empty slot for um, Bloodhound. But like the way she's interacting with the other teams, it's, it's not... It, it, other, characters it's not it's not great i mean these are just patch notes cam the second I, the patch came out i told how to stay on bloodhound like obviously these are initial impressions i wasn't saying that forever literally the, the day the patch dropped i, I played seer for one day and i realized it was still shit compared to bloodhound you should take any you should take reading patch notes with a grain of salt always obviously you should always play the game
You never saw teams in practice C, right? For a reason. You're not going to keep it in front of three other, four other teams? You don't need to. Brother, Becca, I'm telling you right now. You do. You queue up in front of pro players. Ask Cal. Ask anyone who's played Horizon recently and with against pro players. One pro, You queue up in front of one pro player team. You are dying. You don't need to do it in front of three to four teams. One team. Two people. Two people. Pro players are very... Uh, could shoot very well. I don't know if this fuse thing is getting fixed or not. Maybe. But who's got the fucking leaks for this fuse shit? Is it getting fixed or not? I think this this might be zone dependent, but at the same time, this is wrong, by the way. It's 1.2 seconds now. A two second scan is so good, man. Two second scan is actually pretty good too. How one land mid horizon? Q check mid. It was yeah, it was nerfed after, but I know you're joking, but just so people are aware, it was nerfed after the fact. The wiki hasn't been updated since season 20. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Yeah, I don't know, man. This one is so good. I feel like on Stormpoint, this is just like almost always better. Especially for 3 ping. Let me just make that clear. When you're in 3 ping, getting having this so you can throw a Q up from further away is so so important. Also, this when you're on edge is is not important. Because you're gonna have alt excels for the most part. You want you're gonna want and also you're gonna want to throw zero further away. So I think on edge, you for sure get this and this. I think when you're on zone, you get this and this. 30 seconds is not a big difference either. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, at least when you're playing zone on a world's edge, I don't think you want this. Basically, crypto is better than banana. Both are pretty useless. I don't know, but I guess the meta might be just bangs your cat and bangs your Watson. I will say, man, let me put you, let me put you all on. Trust stacks. It's trust stacks in the chat. Bang Rampart Watson for all you for all the pussies out there. Let me put you on. Bang Rampart Watson. You're unkillable, I swear to god. Let me put you all on. I mean the problem is you don't have the fucking uh you don't have a what's it called? Fuck machine. I'm not trolling. Hey Newcastle for Rampart then? Maybe yeah. That was always the case, Spencer, but people are playing Bang Watson anyways. Now, I will say though, Bang Seer Cat and uh Bang Seer Watson, the problem is you have Bang, which is like an entry fragger and just an aggressive character, and then the other two are like kind of supporty characters. So some teams are gonna struggle in that sense, maybe. Like for example, Falcons would Hal just play Seer? I don't know. Falcon's just gonna keep playing Bloodhound? Be back and Bang? Nah. It's so important to have your IGL on Bang. Like I don't, I literally don't think there's reason to ever have your IGL off Bang. It's just too, it's just too, hard. especially if your I just, I mean, how bangs your, I don't, I don't know about that. I just see it's good too though. It is, don't get me wrong. But bang IGL, it's way harder to micromanage a bang on your team than is a seer. Like seer, it's so much harder. Bang fuse cat, maybe. I mean, yeah, but James, again, like, reason. Then, I, yeah, I don't know, Bang Rampart Watson or Bang Newcastle Watson? I don't know, it sounds pretty fucking unkillable to me. It's a lot of sh bullshit to fucking chew through. Does Newcastle need Watson with the well buffs? No, it's just so that you, um, can gen in places you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Like, bro, look at this. Havoc will still be meta, yeah. Still overkills people. No, cast draft, not exactly. But now, like, if you play Rampart Watson or Newcastle Watson, not only do you have to break, like, to break the gen, you're gonna have to fucking break all those walls. I don't think Blenheim will be meta. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't think so. The character sounds pretty fucking useless to me. Look at this. Plus 250 castle wall HP, chats. I remember when you had Verhos run Hemi and Havoc. Everyone questioned you. Now that's all you, that's all you see. I wasn't me, brother. That was all Evan. <laughs> that was literally all Evan. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty good too. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, how long does this take? How long does it take for someone to get up to 75 HP when you get this break? I actually don't even know. Five or seconds? Seven seconds? That's okay. Seven is not good. Five is. Y'all giving me a different noise. Someone hop on my. So, who's on my friend list that can jump in right now? Let's test it. If it, it's a perk that's useless, if you if you get gold knockdown. Okay, yeah, but like, how often are you getting gold knockdown? How many people have the luxury of getting gold knockdown? Someone in my chat can hop in my lobby, right? Get the fuck in here, James. I'm just saying, look at this, bro, gain 250 HP, 250 castle well HP, and ener extend energized buried duration of three minutes, people can't just smoke on you and fucking just kill you with bloodhound anymore, like, what?
Is that not unkillable? Bro, is that not unkillable? And Seer, just because you have wall hacks with Seer doesn't mean you can kill people behind walls. You can't. He's... Man. Who else? Bro, a, yeah, a thousand... No, it's not even a thousand, bro. Let me go back. Let me go to the website. Let me go to the fucking wiki. Q is how much HP? Seven... Bro, how much fucking HP is that to chew through? 750 HP. 750 HP for the Q on both the top and the bottom. And then a thousand for the wall. And then you have a gen. And then you have a fucking 300 HP gen. I'm telling you, you're unkillable. And then you have bang. You're unkillable. Am I wrong? Like, am I wrong? I didn't know. No, I, I, I just had to do the fucking math in my head again. As if I can't just shoot you while you're doing that, Talmadge. And you can't just smoke me and shoot me either. And I can't see you. Because you don't have, there's no bloodhound fucking seeing through smoke anymore. In the Havoc nerf.